Good morning traders and this is your Aussie daily review, South African top 40. So we got our gap up and uh, if you look at where we closed, we sort of closed on the top of this pin bar. So that would have triggered a few stops um, of people that were actually short based on this pin bar. But uh, again, looking to the left, we have got a lot of congestion here. Okay, so trend is still up, uh, very much to the upside. One thing that is fairly clear is that that is the top trend line and that is our bottom trend line. Okay, it is slowly working its way into a wedge. We have the uh, Williams percentage R here which is very much in the overbought territory and uh, looking like a double top as well. So there is some merit to start thinking about a, a retracement of sorts, whether it's back to the bottom of this trend line or further, a um, little bit hard to ascertain, but uh, there's definitely merit to start thinking that there is something that's brewing while we are in this zone here. Okay, so if we look at the four hour, you'll see we had the gap up, we had a, a range bar, we had a second range bar on the four hour, uh, that is pretty much um, what I'm referring to at the moment. No diversions here, but there's a lot of indecision at this level. Okay, I'm going to keep this level in here because it's still something which does interest me. Okay, we're going to get rid of this and get rid of that. So let's just get down to levels that we would want to trade. Okay, so. A couple of things here. We had the gap up and then we sort of trended along that. Okay, so we've had a, a rising wedge, we've had a break, we've had a retest. So you would expect it to come back and test the bottom of the wedge or alternatively come down to close this gap or test this previous breakout. Okay, now that's actually a big ask if you think about it because this here is roughly, well, I suppose it's not that big, it's 590 points away. But yeah, so looking at the price action at the moment, I think you know, we've more than likely got some kind of a move to the downside. Maybe uh, maybe just form a big range or get some form of consolidation and then continue on our journey to the upside. So right now the trend is up, but uh, you know, you're looking for entries lower down. You don't want to get entries right at the top here and it retraces and stresses you and then climbs up. So you want to try to get it on a breakout retest or on a retest of a level. So the two levels that we're looking for, I think this one here we can just get rid of at the moment. So definitely the low of yesterday. Then we have this high, and then we have the pin bar itself. Oh, sorry, the, the gap, what am I talking about? And there is our gap. Okay, so let's get the levels off the half hour. That'll give us a better idea of what's going on. So the first target to the downside is 50.088. Then you have 50.900, and then you have uh, 57.85. Okay, so those are the levels that you that I'm looking at for a pullback. So some kind of a pullback in this area, and then an opportunity to get long. Just bear in mind that if we work on the closing range strategy, which is probably what I would do again. Um, you know, the 261 extension is almost at this level. Well, actually, it is at this level. Okay. So sorry, I just fine tuning this level here. This level here is 510655. Five, 51065. That's the, the level that I'd be looking at. Test the lows of uh, yesterday. Okay. Um, let's just have a look at what it can influence us today. Rand dollar is 1420. Um, so slightly, well, quite a bit stronger than yesterday but it's up 0.4% at the moment, so it has been lower. 
Um, Nasdaq was up 1.3%. Uh, Nasdaq, sorry, not Nasdaq, but Tencent is up half a percent at the moment. S&P was up 1% and the Dow was up 1.2%. So I suppose we could expect some form of a, uh, a move to the upside again as well, which basically means that this this wedge could actually be a channel. But anyway, uh, the trend is to the upside, so we need to trade with the trend. Obviously, something a move down here would get me long with a drop of a hat, but I think what you need to work on is look at the closing range. Okay, so that's the top level, at the bottom level, And that is the bottom range target, and that is my top range target. Let me just delete that. Okay. That doesn't look right. Let's just fix it quickly. Okay. So there's my bottom level. Okay, so that's kind of the the trade that I'd be playing at the moment. So if we do get a break below 51368, then I'm looking for the lows of, of yesterday, around 5170 to 5165, uh, possibly even all the way down to uh, 51050. Okay, um, if we get a 500 break above 51566, then I'm looking for 51767, and I just want to check that gives us a new high. And I don't think there's anything else up there. No, quite a bit. It's almost sort of the top of a, a mini range here. So that's kind of what I'd be looking for. I don't think I'd be looking for anything more than that. Just going to have a quick look at the 12 minutes just to have a look at what we have here. So we definitely range most of the day. So that's our range. That's a breakout I'm looking for. Break to the upside. Then 51767. Uh, break below here. Then I'm looking at uh, 51172. Okay. So that, that's kind of the view that I have today. Um, if we do break down then I'm more than likely, well not more than likely, but I'm definitely waiting here either at this level or at the gap close for a long with a stop below uh, 50, 55, 60. Okay. Anyway, that's the view that I have today and um, there's quite a few little levels at play, so just uh, be cautious, and uh, you're probably going to want to watch the the five minute for the first for the opening. You can see uh, the five minute trend was clearly up, and then you could have traded quite a few trades. It's just this section here that you would have been confused, and that's a U.S. open area. Okay, but this is definitely long pullback. Look for the second move, and the second move is up there. Okay. Anyway, guys, so that's my view today. Uh, looking for a breakout of these two levels, and that will give me my trade. I just want to make sure we do have a five minute gap down here. Just be careful of that. So, this here is a gap, and there's one over here as well. So, just be very cautious. Um, I noticed this on the, the Dow Jones as well. There's quite a few five minute gaps from yesterday. Okay, anyway, guys, that's my view for today. Uh, looking for those longs. And uh, just be patient, the setup will come. Anyway, hope it helps, and I'll catch you later. Cheers for now.